bit aligned. So yeah, you want this one to be a little longer. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have you two set up your straps evenly and then lock them kind of into place once you have them even. Slightly slack. Handles. Um, and then in line with the sh shoulder. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Very good. Oh, it feels even to you? Yep. Terrible cursive. Oh, no, it's great. You go back and be like, what did I write? Yeah. Right. Yeah, so you, and then, yeah, just make sure you really push those. And then Jen, I'm just gonna have you go one more time and push down on that clasp. Okay. Pushing down. Yeah, we're almost done. Then we'll get to. Yeah, just make sure they're locked into place. Okay. Okay. Cool. Up here, I, we'll deal with this when we get to it. There's certain exercises we'll, we'll slide this up and down. But just so you know, the classical reformer. This was down in the well, and that's important because again, where this resistance is coming from will change what's hap how your body's responding to it. So this is again for us mortals that couldn't pull off lifting our bums in the air with so much resistance pulling down. You can slide up or down. These guys will go up or down depending on your needs and maybe if we play around with some other exercises. But those usually stay in the bottom position. So Jen, I'm just gonna have you tighten those up to make sure they're where they belong. Rebecca, if you wanna kinda just hold the knob, see how they work. Yeah, we just saw that. Yeah, we just literally had that happen. Yeah, it did. It was great. I was like, I've never had that happen before. And it happened today. Um, one other thing that's kind of silly that happens, and you, it's always curious to see the students who recognize it who doesn't. You'll go to set up an exercise. I don't know what these are called. What would you call these? Floating risers. Oh, I like that. So yes. Yes. Yeah. Knob. What are the knobs right below the This will you will untwist that, oh. and you can um, whoopsie, you can actually fold this down into the oh, well. Like for travel or something. Yeah. And if you're doing tower, this would oh. like this guy. This is the only one that's set up for a tower, but um, mm -hmm. if you set that up, you'd put those down. Yeah. Um. You will have this happen sometimes. I'm just going to pull on the straps and just see what you see if you look at the straps. Like what's, yeah, you need to like, yeah. So that happens usually when we stand up and we do some sort of transition or this drops and we go to put it back and it just gets a twist. And so that's just your, what happened to the straps? You'll also hear it because it'll kind of like, it like rubs against itself. You'll be doing something. That happens a lot. It will most likely happen at least once to you. So just so you know, that's the thing. Well, even this right now, the rope is coming from the bottom. And mm -hmm. this one's coming from the top. Yep, yeah, so you could do things. These have the capacity to twist and move, so you can play around with that. Again, I am over explaining because you two don't have to gear out, you get to set the reformer up and, and just go, and it'll be set up for you when you arrive. Okay. Should be. But I just want, again, understanding the angles and the, and the thought behind it, kind of a little more respect for it all. Um, Okay, because what we're learning today is gonna include the box, we'll talk about the box when we get there. Let's do like a couple minute bathroom break, water, and then we'll get to moving. Yes, be fantastic. Yes, good, well great. Two, three, four, five, yes.